Hi Fintorn Flower Essence friends, I wanted to make a short video to just show you the beautiful valerian. It's so sweet smelling in this summer time and it's so tall, it's almost as tall as me. I am five foot seven, so it's just delightful to be around and of course the keynote is delight, lighten up and bring this quality of delight. And beside me, or just behind me here growing, you can see the really tall globe thistle. So our essence garden is really fully in bloom this summer. But I just wanted to show you this beautiful valerian essence of delight. Blessings. Uh, here we are in the essence garden and I just wanted to show you the beautiful stone crop. So it grows... Um, with this very kind of succulent base, um, very green, and then it turns to red, and then it has these long stems, and at the top we have these beautiful flowers, <laughs> um, these white flowers, and they're absolutely exquisite, and the bees love them, and you can see the wee beasties love them, it has this vibrant white flower with the red stems and then the green succulent bottoms and these actually love to grow on the west coast on the rocks so here's our, our beautiful stone crop here i am under the beautiful globe thistle as you can see it's much taller than me and I'm five foot seven, so it's well above six foot, and it has this beautiful strong stem for strength. As you may well know, many plants have folklore stories and tales that go with them, or beautiful names that really depict the meaning. And wild pansy is a great example of that. It's known as heartsease in the more um, traditional name, and it, they almost have these beautiful faces. And one thing that's really interesting about the wild pansy is how it self-seeds, so it really spreads around your garden if you allow it to. And it's wonderful to see where it likes to come up. Um, it likes all different types of areas. Here it's growing beside the lady's mantle, and in the back there we have the ragged robin. Um, it's a wonderful plant to just sit and be beside and meditate with and always gives this really beautiful sense of, of heart sees, a sense of presence. Um, I absolutely love the wild pansy. Well, beside me here I have the beautiful rose alba, and you can see it grows quite tall. Um, the rose alba for power. And again, we're at the end of July, so it's almost finished flowering. We have a few blossoms left here and it really loves the sunshine and has this beautiful white petal and beautiful golden center. Beside me here in the bed, I have the really beautiful harebell, which is almost paper thin and kind of could remind you of a bluebell in shape, um, but much lighter, more violet in color. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous and they're often used to press um, and keep because they have this real paper-like quality. They, they don't have much moisture in the petals um, and our harebells are just exquisite. When the breeze blows you actually hear them moving. As you know many of our songs in Scotland sing about the blooming heather, the beautiful heather that grows on our hillsides here. And so here is the bell heather that we make the essence from. And it's quite a dry um, plant. It's quite a dry leaf. And when you actually pick the blossom, please may I pick one of you? It has almost like a, a pod, really. The, um, the flower's like a very small pod. Um, and they're so beautiful in color. Mm. And they're known to be edible and have been used on cakes and in desserts here in Scotland. And of course our, our bell heather is for, for confidence. Here we have the beautiful ragged robin and it's just coming to the end of its flowering time. We are at the end of July now and so we made the essence in June when it was just in its full 
potential so here you can see it grows um, this one's about three feet from the ground they can get much taller these ones that have dried up behind went right up to five foot so this is a beautiful ragged robin so this lovely lime green flower here is the ladies mantle and it has such an exquisite leaf that's almost creates a kind of cup shape and really collects the dew in the morning and it's just stunning and beside it we have the wild pansy and the daisy so i just wanted to show you the part of the birch tree that that flowers and creates the seeds here i'll, I'll show you closely you can see the the wee pods Some more up here. Here I am beside the beautiful mallow, such a gorgeous purple flower with these kind of vein like qualities and these huge leaves. Um, and the mallow loves to grow in full sunlight and often up here uh, in, in Fintorn in the Moray Coast we find it growing beside the beach or near the sand dunes or the bay. It likes to be near water so we've planted it beside our pond here um, and the bees absolutely adore it as well. So this is the beautiful mallow. Well, here we are beside the very tall and sunny elecampane. So it grows on these really beautiful tall stems with these huge leaves. In Scotland it almost looks kind of jungle-like or tropical. It has a very, very, very gentle scent. And it has these long, long kind of spindly petals and then the golden centre.